Let's talk about all of this. Uh, the breaking news we're following. The chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Republican Congressman Ed Royce of California, joins us live. Mr. Chairman, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, first of all, have you heard anything at all about this uh, report that Barbara just told us, uh, Lieutenant General Ron Lewis, fired by Ash Carter? No, I had not, and I was briefed today, but uh, that had not come up at that point in time. All so. right, well, that's pretty disturbing. No. All right, let's talk about what's going on in Beirut right now. Twin suicide bombings, uh, hundreds of people killed and injured in a Shiite neighborhood in South uh, Beirut. Uh, ISIS claims responsibility. Has the U.S. actually uh, confirmed that ISIS did this? Oh, I don't think there's any question, and uh, I, I have had consultations on this today. ISIS clearly carried this out. A very cowardly act. If you look at the attack on the bakery inside the market, that was primarily women and children. And then you look at the uh, attack outside of the mosque, the Shia mosque, and again you see from ISIS this pronouncement that they're attacking Shias because they're apostates. The same excuse that they give for attacks on Yazidis or Christians or Kurds. So uh, this is very much their M.O., and they've already claimed credit for the attack. And it is good that we now have in custody one of the attackers, clearly U.S. forces and Lebanese armed forces, are going to have to work very closely together on this security question. Because what you see in Lebanon today, Wolf, is one quarter of that population are people fleeing from Syria. And obviously what happened was ISIS embedded their suicide bombers with that population. Yeah, uh, the uh, Lebanese sources tell uh, our terrorism analyst Paul Cruikshank four suicide bombers, two Lebanese, two Palestinian, and one of them taken alive. Uh, is, is there a suspicion now that ISIS really wants to expand this war because Hezbollah has been uh, help helping Bashar al-Assad's regime in Syria? ISIS now wants to retaliate by taking the war actually into Lebanon? I've seen that argument, and that's certainly part of the equation. But, Wolf, remember, from the outset, ISIS has claimed a caliphate for the entire Middle Eastern region. And they have specifically said that Lebanon is part of their caliphate. So it's very much in character for them to be pushing this, uh, this war in North Africa, in Lebanon, uh, certainly throughout the region. Let's talk a little bit about this battle that's happening in Sinjar right now in northern Iraq. U.S. troops, uh, they are on the ground, special operations forces. They're calling in U.S. airstrikes to help the Peshmerga, the Kurdish fighters who are taking the lead on the ground. Uh, is this, is this going to succeed, the taking of Sinjar? Because it's strategically located between Raqqa, the Islamic Caliphate's headquarters in Syria, and Mosul, the second largest city in Iraq, which ISIS also controls. Well, again, I'd, I'd like to see our primary focus on arming the Kurdish forces as well as the Yazidis. And I, the, the most passionate uh, stories I've heard are from Yazidi women from Sinjar who survived. Um, and as you know, many of those girls and women were taken as sex slaves by ISIS. You have a highly motivated population in the 180,000 troops that are in the Peshmerga, the Kurdish Peshmerga, and you increasingly have men um, who are Yazidis who want to fight, but they need the armaments. And so far, we have not been able to get the administration to transfer the types of, of, of artillery, long-range mortars, anti-tank weapons that they feel they need. So yes, we can, we can call in airstrikes, that is helpful, but at the end of the day, what we really need to do is give them the weaponry to defend themselves and to defeat ISIS in Sinjar. They tell us at this point they still don't have weapons to match what ISIS has in their command. And according to our Nick Payton Walsh, who's there near Sinjar, the Iraqi military is nowhere in sight. This is a Kurdish war that is going on.